time in this rig. If you guys haven't already, check them out. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In our last episode, you guys saw us pick up that 93 F-150 project for the channel. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy that content. But in this episode, we're back on the Kodiak. We're installing this Klein 730 train horn kit. We're gonna get it installed on the Kodiak and see what it sounds like. We've got the three trumpet. So underneath these Kodiaks, there's a lot of storage space behind these steps. So we got some ho couple holes drilled right here. We're gonna get this three trumpet horn mounted in this area first. Okay, we've got this all grounded down, bolted down. We've got a wire to the solenoid ran to a switch in the cab. So let's put this step on and move to the other side. All right guys, we got the compressor mounted back there and bolted in, got clearances for everything. We got our air chuck sticking out right there, which is perfect. I cut this out of eighth inch steel, drilled some holes in it, mounted the compressor to this. It's got rubber bushings, so there's no vibrations. There's some holes here. So we're gonna go ahead and put this plate, slide it right in here. So you can see everything is tucked in nice and clears. We have an air chuck that we can easily get to right here. Already ran our airline over to the side. Um, we'll go inside and check out what we have going on for turning the compressor on for a switch and a switch for activating the solenoid on the horn. All right guys, we're here in the cab. This switch right here is wired to a 30 amp uh, fuse in our aux beam breaker box. That is for the air compressor. So if we put the key in, You can hear the compressor kick on. I have the horn hooked up to this momentary switch. I could have hooked it up to one of these switches, but uh, we have a police interceptor style console that I had ordered that is on the way, and I wanna be able to mount that on there. So we have it wired up temporarily for now. Let's go ahead and see what this thing sounds like. <laughs> it's pretty loud. All right guys, I didn't tell Tiffany that I installed an air horn, so we're gonna get her reaction. Jesus Christ. She looked a little surprised. When did we buy that? So I got it used off Facebook Marketplace. Uh, the tank, the compressor, and then over here. Oh my God, what a setup. A, All for a horn. There's, oh my God. Oh, it's down here. There's three trumpets. Oh my so, God, how funny. Yeah, Does so it now, rumble when you're sitting Now we have in a it? horn. Um, I'm gonna put, on the other side, I'm gonna put some rubber between, so it's vibration resistant, but yeah, now we have a horn. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, you kind of need a train horn on this thing, otherwise it uh, kind of sounds funny. Eric and Marissa have been staying on the property the last couple weekends getting some projects done before they head down to Baja. They are full time in this rig. If you guys haven't already, check them out at the Cummins Camper on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. They will be having some upcoming Baja content for the next couple months, so make sure you guys go check that out. We have one of our most anticipated videos coming out soon. Our boxes have shipped and are about to arrive today. I am personally super excited to get those mounted up. I think it's gonna finish off the exterior look, especially once we get the camper wrapped. And about the camper, something really unexpected popped up and we just can't pass up the deal. So if everything checks out, we're picking it up tonight and you guys will see it on the channel soon. Thanks so much to all of you for being here, liking, subscribing, we really appreciate it. Our channel has been growing and we're really excited about 2023 and the content we're gonna be bringing to you guys. We'll see you on the next episode. Later guys.